So I've got some nice uh, classical soft piano playing on the record player here at the shop, and I've got a great cigar to go with it. Who ever heard of a cigar music pairing, right? Well, me. So there you go. So this is the Perdomo Habano. This is their Connecticut. And uh, I think I said in my other video that the uh, Perdomo rep came by uh, last week, and he and he brought me a bunch of a uh, bunch of samples to try, which is great because I love doing cigar reviews, and I always have loved the uh, Perdomo cigars ever since I tried their Champagne Noir years ago with an undeveloped palate. And if you've ever had the Champagne Noir, it is a very dark, very heavy cigar, and kind of a uh, put 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 me down, if you will. Um, but I really like the banding on this. It's just real nice. It's got their uh, their Esteli, their uh, um, stating um, that it's a, uh, a Habano wrapper. Um, just some really nice intricate designs. It actually says uh, Jalapa right here, just uh, letting letting you know, uh, you know, w uh, more specifically where this uh, where this tobacco grows from. Um, you can see here on the banding, there's a little bit of discoloration happening not that it's bad it's just how it how it developed in a and aged there in the uh, in the curing barns a little bit of darkness there um but uh nothing nothing bad i also like this this uh foot band that they have here it just adds something a little a little different to it that you don't see in seeing uh, uh cigars every single day so Well, I will say it definitely smells like a Connecticut should. It's just real light. It's just uh, real light wood tones in there. There's that hay in there. There's a little bit of a barnyardiness as well. Yeah, um, that 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 barnyardiness kind of kind of dominates uh, dominates this uh, this smell. So let me punch this and uh, give it a give it a cold draw. The draw is very easy, just like I would I would expect on a on a premium per demo. Not a whole lot to the not a whole lot to the flavors. Um, maybe some light breads in there. With a Sabano wrapper, I expected uh, I expected more spice on the lips. I'm like you get with some more uh, some uh, other Habano Habano uh, cigar blends. Um, but this one is extremely light. You taste a little bit of something, almost like almost like a a, a cinnamon feel, and not necessarily cinnamon taste, kind of kind of on the lips. So interesting to see what this is going to be. It almost it almost tastes like there's like a, like a gumminess to it as well. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's it. Lots of toasted bread. Lots of toasted bread right there. It's got just those classic Connecticut flavors, just real light. Once you light it, that Habano spice uh, definitely, definitely shows up. It's still not real heavy, but it is kind of kicking around uh, there, kind of in the back of the throat. And uh, and uh, very, very good, just, just light flavor so far. The aroma it gives off is just all natural tobacco, and uh, not much else. That barnyardiness that that was on the uh, that was on the the smell was uh, not really prevalent. Um, just some nice, real light toasted flavors. I don't really expect this one to change so much, but only because uh, based on the Perdomo Grand Cru 2006 that I uh, that I've uh, done a cigar review on, that one was very consistent from the first light all the way down to the end. There just wasn't much of a change. So. I am gonna puff on this and let you know what I get here in the first third. So I am through the first third of this here Perdomo Habano. You see the ash has fallen off. Unfortunately, it fell off on me and my shirt made a very nice uh, ash catcher. Of course, not the first time it's happened to me and sometimes when you just get carried away smoking a really good cigar, you just kinda don't want it to end and you hope that ash hangs on for forever, I guess. But uh, 
the uh, ash was uh, gosh about an inch long um, before it finally uh, caved. I actually wasn't even wasn't even expecting it. wasn't even really paying attention to it. Um, overall, the burn has been very very nice. It's not perfectly straight, but you know it's very good. The construction of a cigar is very very uh, done very well uh, as well. Um, just nice and smooth uh, flavors. I'm I'm getting. There is a real nice uh, creamy bready wood tones. Um, I have noticed a, f a few wisps of like some uh, some real uh, subtle spices in there, like some nutmeginess um, uh, as well. Uh, the aroma that, that it's putting out is just a real nice nice natural tobacco tone. Um, you see that it's uh, it, the, you know the wrapper is just real real smooth. Uh, it's smoking very smooth as well, and it's just a good overall, not real complex as far as taste goes. But I feel like I'm getting some uh, some uh, hints of spices, you know, just kind of here and there on di on different puffs. Uh, some some tobacco sweetness as well. Very very light though, just kind of giving a, a, a nice balance to everything. Um, as far as the Habano wrapper goes though, it, it did put out some initial spices on that light, and it got you right in the back of the throat. I can still uh, still kind of taste it and feel it there. Kind of a trademark of of Habano wrappers uh, as well. So I'm gonna get here into the second third, and I will let you know what else I get. So I am through the second third of this here Perdomo Habano. You can see I'm starting to get a little bit of run in it. I wonder if that's gonna go uh, go any further. Uh, I've slid this band up a little just so I could uh, keep it on there as long as possible. Now I've heard debates about people um, uh, keeping bands on uh, as long as possible and those that before they even light up the cigar they, they tear it right off. It's, I've actually read some pretty heated debates which I think is kind of unnecessary in the cigar world but you know to, to each their own. So with that being said I've decided to uh, keep keep my band on for as long as I can. I'll probably tear it off here in a second. As far as uh, as far as flavors go, I'm getting a lot of like uh, kind of like slate flavors. That creaminess has, has disappeared. Um, kind of darker wood tones are coming through right now. I did go ahead and tap this tap this ash off just because I didn't want it falling in my lap again. Um, I usually try to keep ash off off of my clothing. You know, who who would have ever th thought of that, right? Um, the draw is still very, very nice. Uh, the burn is is straight right there, except for that that quick run that just kind of happened, just like that, as as I was puffing on it. Um, very, very smooth cigar still, uh, still overall. Usually, as the flavors turn darker here in the last third, um, it's kind of kind of to be expected with any cigar, just because um, you're starting to get a shorter distance between uh, flame and mouth. So. I am going to puff on this into the last third, and I'll be right back in one sec. So I am here to the last third of this here cigar. I'm almost done with it. Um, this is definitely a cigar that I'll smoke all the way down to the end. The ash was not hanging on as long as it did uh, when, when it first started. It's uh, it's definitely uh, dropped off a lot sooner than what I expected from, from a high quality Perdomo. Um, it wasn't going bad at all. It was going at least an inch before I felt like I had to tap it before it would uh, before it would fall down in my lap. Um, the burn has gotten pretty rough. It's definitely not straightened at all. Um, as far as the flavors go, it's just lots of dark wood, kind of like some dark, uh, dark chewy wood tones. Um, that slate is eh, kind of still there. Um, as far as the spice goes, the spice has all but disappeared. Not necessarily a bad thing. The flavors are still real, real light. The draw, the draw has tightened up considerably from when, from uh, on the first light, which is to be expected with a, uh, with any cigar. Uh, at almost any price. Um, as far as the uh, the flavors go, they've they've definitely uh, gotten darker. Like I said, those those darker wood tones. Uh, the smoke production has been excellent all throughout this cigar. I did have to do a touch up once because it was starting to do this, and I had to uh, touch it up just to keep that keep that burn semi semi even. So overall, a very very good cigar by Perdomo. Again, a good very. Uh, very good beginner cigar, somebody who just wants to get into cigars. Um, this is one that I would recommend to them um, if they wanted something just brand new and they never smoked a cigar before just because it, it's so light on the tongue. It doesn't leave a harsh taste in your mouth at all. Even right here I can still hold it and it's not too hot. This is definitely a cigar that you get your full money's worth out of smoking all the way down to the end. So 
If you're not there already, brotherswinetobacco.com. Also check us out on Facebook. We've got another cigar tasting coming up September 19th. This place will be filled with lots of uh, good conversation, uh, lots of smoke, and uh, lots of good times. And as always, thank you for watching.